Hello, my name is Elton Potts with Vine Vault. Thank you so much for choosing the Vine Vault wine storage and moving boxes. We use thousands of these every year in storing wine for our clients across our facilities, and we use thousands more every year as we help people move their wine cellars. We go in and pack them up and then move them to their new home. So we have a lot of experience and we've built what we think is a fantastic box. So you have probably received by now at least one box that looks like this. So we're gonna go through this together and walk through the contents and then how to best use them based upon everything that we've learned. So I'm gonna start by opening up this box that's come in. So inside here, what you're gonna find is 10 of these Vine Vault wine storage boxes. In addition to that, you will also have 20 of these inserts that are folded. And we're going to use those for storing 750 milliliter bottles. You will also have two longer pieces that look like this, and we'll use these for storing magnums and three liters, and we'll use this in conjunction when we're storing magnums. But we'll walk through all of that together. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take this box and we'll tape it up. You'll find that these have double wall construction, which makes them extra sturdy, which will better protect and support your wine. Now most people are done there when it comes to taping. We don't want uh, when we're dealing with our members wine they don't ever have an issue so we put some extra tape on not saying you need to that's the level of care that we take so the box is all taped up and ready to go I'll fold these down to make it easier to see what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these inserts like this We'll unfold it, and you'll notice that it's already been pre-folded for you, and that it naturally starts to pop up where the perforations are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that, if I can grab it, put it inside the box. And it's going to fit in the box something like that. And it'll be a little loose when you first start, but that'll quickly get taken care of. Now I'm going to grab some of my bottles that I want to store, and these are Bordeaux style bottles. So I'll grab a couple of those, bring them over, put them into the box, and as I do that, I like to alternate directions. Typically with Bordeaux style bottles, you don't need to do that, but we can alternate directions or put them straight on like this. And there you go. You've now got six bottles on the lower level, and in doing so, those six bottles are fully protected from each other. They're not going to be touching. There's no glass hitting each other. You know, even if you're picking these boxes up and moving them around, you're not going to have glass on glass. Now, grab a second insert out of the box, and we're going to do the same thing again that we did before. And just fold those up. When we fold those up, we're just going to put that insert in the box just like that. And it'll pop up for a second. And then I'm going to grab some burgundy style bottles. And these obviously have a different shape. And you'll notice that champagne bottles tend to have this shape even more exaggerated than this. With these, you're going to want to alternate direction. And what will happen is, if your bottles are extra wide at the bottom, you'll see that these inserts will, will bend and fold to form around your bottles, provide that protective layer, and they'll all fit in here by alternating them back and forth. And two more. And now you've got 12 750 milliliter bottles inside the box, safely protected from each other, 
no glass touching glass, and it's ready to go. So all you need to do now, fold in the lids on the top. You can decide if you want to tape the top or not. And then the other thing that you want to do, or you may want to do, is on the end of the box, you can write right here what is stored inside this box. And when you do that, it's very easy to see, and that way you don't have to hunt through a lot of different boxes to find the wine that you're looking for for that special time. When you're looking for that special bottle, you'll know exactly which box to go to. Now these boxes like this, they're easy to handle. Just pick it up, carry it like this, and you can stack these up. You can stack these eight, nine, 10 high. So now let's do some magnums. I'm gonna set this one to the side. I'll grab another box that I've already taped. down. So you've got magnum bottles. Now with this box you don't need a different box than what we have. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this long fella here. You'll notice there's a couple creases. I'm just going to take that and put him right in the box just like that. Then I'm going to grab some magnums. I'll grab these two to start with. And what I'm going to do with these two magnums is I'm going to lay one here. The other one's going to go right there, and then I'll get a third magnum. When I grab this third magnum, we will just put him right there so he's not touching the other two, and they'll sit just like that. Now, we're going to take that last piece that we have, and it's going to come lay right here. It right in there just like that. Now what this has done is given us the ability to put three more magnums in the box and they still don't touch each other. So you can put six magnums in the box at one time and they're all protected from each other. Once you put a second layer of magnums in, again, all you do, fold up your box, we'll set it off to the side, and you're ready to go. So you've got nine liters stored in each of those. Let's do one more for fun. So I've got another box ready to go. We'll sit it here. Sometimes you need a place for three liter bottles. If they've been shipped to you, they come in a shipper. Potentially they're not, they're not in a wooden box. And so that shipper may have been thrown away because you decided to display your very special three liter bottle. So, this bottle will fit in here as well. What you can do, take your three liter bottle, put it in place in the box. You'll notice there's room for another three liter bottle. And all you need to do is grab out of your box of, of goodies from Vineball, the other insert, fold it in half. You can tuck it right here between the two bottles and you can put in place another three liter Turn it the opposite direction and sit it on this side of the insert. And now you've got six liters of wine stored in the box and you're good to go. And that is how we pack up wine in the Vine Vault storage boxes. One other tip for you as well. Sometimes you're gonna have some long bottles that just aren't, they're too long to fit this way in the box, but they're still 750 milliliter. Some Rieslings come to mind, and there may be a few other bottles that just tend to be longer. What you can do with those is take one of your inserts, fold it up like, like this so that all the pieces are sticking up, and then just tear it where you need to so that you can place this in the box. Hang on to it there in this direction. And by doing it in this direction, you can put four bottles wide and be able to hold those Rieslings and things like that. But what I suggest you do is you do a regular layer of six bottles turned this way on the bottom, and then a layer of four longer style bottles on top. So that is how we use the Vine Vault storage and moving boxes. We hope that you thoroughly enjoy them and they you get a long life out of these, and we toast you and your health. Cheers. Thank you.